everyone. This is Brendan Hodek from New York Speech Coaching here in New York City. Today's episode of Voice Breakdown is going to be a little bit different. If you've been watching the series, you know that each episode we break down a voice so that you can imitate that voice. Most voices can be broken down into just a handful of components. Figure out those components and you can imitate any voice you wish. So many of you have been watching, liking, and commenting on our videos, and we are so very grateful for that. As we have been reading the comments, we've been noticing that for some of you, you're having a hard time with one or more of the components in particular. We get questions like, how do I raise my larynx? Or how do I control my soft palate? So we felt it was time to create videos that are specifically dedicated to one of the components, especially the first four components. These are the vocal cords, the larynx, the tongue, and the soft palate. We are calling these our component focus videos since we will be focusing on only one of the components. These videos will not be breaking down any specific character voice, but will be giving you a few exercises to gain more control over a specific component. The vocal cords, also known as the vocal folds, are folds of tissues within your larynx. Their survival function is to protect the airway along with a few other structures so that we don't choke. In addition to that, the vocal folds can vibrate, producing the wonderful sound that is the human voice. When we bring the vocal cords together and blow air through them, they get sent into vibration and make sound. We can manipulate that sound. As we have said in past videos, two of the primary things we can manipulate in regard to the vocal cords are their length and their levels of compression. Regarding their length, the longer we make our vocal folds, the higher the pitch. The shorter we make our vocal folds, the lower the pitch. Compression relates to how loosely or tightly the vocal cords are coming together medially. The more decompressed or loose the cords are medially, the breathier the voice will sound. The more compressed the cords are medially, the more connected or tight the voice will sound. Let's give you a few exercises to help you manipulate the vocal cords. Our first exercise is going to help us control our pitch. While this might be easy for some, for others of us, it can be really hard sometimes just to have a good sense of what it feels like to shorten or lengthen our vocal cords, to lower or raise our pitch. This exercise will help with that. We call this the pitch wave. To do the pitch wave, first start with a hum. Then we are going to ride the pitch wave by raising our pitch. Then ride the pitch wave back down to lower our pitch. Keep going up and down slowly until you run out of breath. The entire exercise should sound like this. Pay attention to the way your voice feels at different pitches. Do your best not to have any pitch breaks along the way. Exercise number two is going to get us familiar with compression and decompression. We call this exercise Aha! First, I'd like you to take a breath in. Then, exhale just slightly and immediately hold your breath like this. Inhale. You can hear how I exhaled quickly and held my breath. That feeling of holding your breath is compression. It is the closing off of the vocal cords. You can then release the air and you will hear a pop, which is the cords breaking their tight compression and then becoming decompressed, allowing air to come out. Now that you know what compression feels like, let's go back and forth between compressed and decompressed. We are going to use the sounds ah and ha, hence the name of the exercise. First, say ah, ah. Ah, you can really hear how compressed and solid the chords are. Say it again. Ah, ah, ah. Then say, ha, ha, ha. 
You can hear how breathy the voice sounds due to how loose and decompressed the chords are. Go back and forth between these two sounds. Ah, ah, ah. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, ah, ah. Then once you have mastered that, see if you can go back and forth between the sounds while holding them out on one breath. Ah. Exercise number three is an exercise that gives us control over our pitch and compression at the same time. We call this the compression-decompression vowel slides. We want to be able to control our compression of the vocal cords throughout their entire pitch range. We want to be able to be breathy and decompressed in our low, middle, and high range. We want to be able to be compressed in a low, middle, and high range. We also, and this might be a surprise to some, want to be able to vocal fry in our low, middle, and high range. Vocal fry is the crackling sound you can make with your voice like this. Uh... This exercise helps us do that. We are going to do three different slides, one with decompressed vocal cords, one with compressed vocal cords, and one with a vocal fry sound. We are going to use multiple vowels on each, as sometimes vowels can really change everything. Remember that even though we have five vowel letters in English, we have many more vowel sounds. The letter A can sound like A, A, E, A, and A. Uh. For example, you can feel free to do any vowel sounds you want with this exercise, but to start, it helps to simply think of the five vowel letters of the alphabet and assigning a sound to them. Let's first start with a decompressed slide. Go from your lowest pitch to your highest pitch while decompressed for our five vowels. See if you can keep an even quality to the compression throughout the slide. Ah. Then do the same for our connected compressed vocal cords. A e I o o Then do it in vocal fry. This one will likely be the trickiest. Be sure to do all of these slowly and gradually, trying to not allow the chords to make any drastic changes. If you can do these three exercises, then you have some pretty great control over component number one, the vocal cords. Thank you for watching our first component focus video, this time focusing on the vocal cords. For those of you struggling with this component, we hope this video has helped and gives you some great exercises to practice. If it is the larynx, the tongue, or the soft palate giving you trouble, don't worry. We will be doing videos on those components as well very soon. Be sure to check out future episodes of Voice Breakdown, the show where we teach you how to imitate some of the most iconic voices. See you next time.